Hello YouTube, this is Rapscallion. Today I have my equal item distribution system. Uh, I posted a pic of this to Reddit the other day, and uh, now we're going to have a, a bit of a video on how this thing works. Uh, again, I won't be doing a tutorial. I don't do too many tutorials. I just kind of show off some of the items that I've built, but maybe you'll be able to get the gist of it as it's, uh, as it's working. So the system right now is configurable. I have 15 different slices here. And every item I put into this chest will be equally distributed um, to this row of chests here at the bottom. Doesn't matter what type of item, doesn't matter the delay between the items over the lifetime of this system, it will continue to equally distribute. Um, configuration required in these hoppers here, so the same number of items within this hopper as um, uh, the number of slices you have in your distributor. And you'll see I've got a modified version of my pulse divider here to help us count the items as they're going through um, to make sure that um, we've got some time in between uh, for reset. So let's start pumping some items in here. Let's do a, an easy count first. We'll do 15 items in. And this should completely fill up the system all the way through. See the items are already in each of these chests here. Um, it works at nearly hopper speed. And there we go. So it's already reset itself too. So we could put a few more items in. And just to show the distribution over the lifetime, we'll put 16 redstone in. So we should end up with two and all of them except for this first one will have three. And you can see it count its way down actually as well here too. And it's reset and it's let the single or third item out into this chest. So we've got three and two all the way down. So it takes whatever types of items that you want to put in here. We'll do a, a few more of these redstone dust. Actually, let's, uh, Let's let's put the, the signs in actually first. So 16 signs means that we'll end up here with the signs. And then I'll pump a bunch of swords in afterwards as well too. So that should be it for signs right there. And now the swords are going to be going through also. Three, two, signs, one sign, one sign. Oh, sorry, no, no. Number of signs only should have went to here because we had it ending here. So signs should have ended right here, and it did. So there we go, two signs in here, one sign in every other box. And then the swords will fill up the rest. There we go. I can put any number of items in here now, so it'll start this chest here is where our last sword should be. So whatever we put in next, we'll just go into that next box. So let's say we want to do some of these and maybe some iron ore. So there's those. So you'll see our planks are distributing now. We'll go into a reset. Planks will start distributing out through the rest. There's our planks distributing now. You'll see the plank coming. Oh, it wasn't even fast enough. That's how quick it is. Reset. Now we've got the iron ore coming through. There you go. So it's, uh, it's set up here to read the hoppers. There's nothing in these hoppers. These hoppers are, are locked. They're just pushing over across these other hoppers and as a signal reads it's basically creating an rs nor latch out of uh, these two droppers here so the the item through the hopper up top is locked um, after an item goes into it so first item will go in it'll fall through it will pump this over to release this and let it drop It'll come back 
and it'll actually be locked from there. So this the same thing will let one item in and lock it afterwards so that no other items can drop through that hopper. And then the same thing happens all the way down the line. Once it gets to the end, we just read the signal out of the last one to send a, a reset pulse to all these droppers to push it back down. And that'll unlock all of our hoppers. And then this, as I showed you, is just a modified version of the pulse dividers that I use with a, an RS neural latch to control um, the reset period. So we don't want to we don't want to send a reset as a single pulse. We want to send a reset as a continuous pulse, um, just in case there's no other items in this chest or in this hopper specifically, I should say. Um, otherwise, it'll stay locked. Um, that's my equal item distribution system. Hope everyone enjoys, and if there's enough interest, maybe I'll do a, a more in-depth tutorial. Great. Thanks again, YouTube. Have a great day.